Springs. It's a small town, just a dot on the map, actually. And if you blink passing through, you just might miss it. But what it lacks in size, it makes up for in action and adventure. Of course, most of the action is from the outlaws stealing cattle and robbing stagecoaches. And the adventure only happens when something bad happens. But no matter, folks call Redemption Springs home. And home, as they say, is where the heart is. Well, that there is Matthew Winslow. He's about to be the new sheriff in town. Only nobody knows it yet. You see, Redemption Springs has been without a sheriff for quite some time now. And by the looks of things, it could become a better time. Folks in Redemption Springs are a mite bit testy these days. Oh, good morning, uh, Judge Davis. It's Reverend Davis today. Today's Sunday, Deputy. Uh, I'm sorry, Reverend Davis. Uh, have a good morning, sir. What? With Biff Morgan's gang of outlaws making life miserable for everybody in Redemption Springs and having no share for so long, everybody's been feeling a tad bit ornery. And who can blame them? Times are tough right now, and folks are doing the best they can. After all, sometimes life just don't go exactly as planned. Meet Maggie Mae Malone. She runs Malone Bed and Breakfast Inn. An inn is sort of like a hotel, and anyone coming or going in Redemption Springs ends up in Maggie's place. In fact, everything seems to end up in Maggie's place Y'all learn more about that later. Penelope Ambrose, what are you doing? Nothing, Miss Maggie. Exactly. Now why don't you quit your daydreaming and hop to it? Church is starting in a few minutes. Yes, ma'am. You know what? I sure wish Judge Davis would let me sing in the church service this morning. You know, I think a good musical number would really liven up the place. No, folks don't need liven up on church to be livened up. They need prayer and contemplation. If we did any more contemplation during Judge Davis' sermons, we'd be asleep. It's pretty true. Good morning, Miss Malone. Good morning, Reverend Davis. Miss Malone, you can call me Judge Davis. Oh, well, it just doesn't seem right to call you judge on a Sunday. Well, I may be the judge and the reverend in this town, but in my opinion, there's no difference. You can judge someone's guilt in the courtroom, or you can judge their guilt in the court in the house of God. I hear the say, I Pardon me, ma'am. Is there a room available for us? Oh, one moment, sir. Hold on. Uh, Penelope. Penelope. Penelope Ambrose. Can you help this customer, please? I can't be helping a customer and setting up for church service at the same time. Well, fine. You help the customer, and I will get Tad to set up for church. Tad! Tad! You who did your Malone, where are you? Pardon me. Ma'am, is this Malone's bed and breakfast in? Well, yes, if you don't mind a table breakfast and don't mind sleeping on a little bed. Huh. So I can rent a room then? Of course you can, silly. It is an inn after all. So it's not a, a church? Oh, it's a church. Uh, and a school. And the town hall. Wow. <laughs> don't ask. So how long will you be staying in Redemption Springs? Well, quite a while. Do you rent by the month? Sure we do, but I don't know why anyone would want to stay in Redemption Springs that long. Uh, Judge Davis, can I speak with you for a moment? Deputy, can't you see I'm preparing for the sermon today? But it's mighty important, sir. There's nothing that important to interrupt getting ready for the service today. Yeah, sir, get, yeah, get out. No, sir, sir, really, I, I really need to talk to you about it. Deputy, this. if you don't skedaddle, I'll have your badge, and you'll see you find yourself shoveling manure at the livery stable. Yes, sir. Maggie Mae, this gentleman will be renting a room with us. We need someone to take 
take his bags up to his room. Well, why don't you go ahead and do that then? I don't know if you remember, but I don't do those sorts of things. What sorts of things? Uh, like carrying heavy luggage up flights of stairs. Those sorts of things. Oh, for heaven's sakes, then get Tad to do it. Your son is conspicuously missing. Oh, if that boy is down by the creek, I will tan his hide. And yet, there's still a man here who needs his bags taken up to his room. Well, then take them up! L what Listen, it? ma'am, it's all right. I, I can take my own bag, thank you very much. He can take his own bag. <sighs> Penelope, could you please go down to the creek and look for Tad, please? I don't do those sorts of things. Penelope! I'm going, I'm going. You know what, start following <sighs> Susanna? I fail to understand why you have not returned my book to me yet. Miss Eliza, I have not yet finished reading it. But it has been two weeks. What have you been doing? I have been planting gardens, milking cows, repairing fences. Some of us actually have to work hard to put food on the table. Well, now, I am a school teacher. I work hard as well. You play with children all day. That is not working hard. I am shaping their young minds so that they may know there is more to life than milking cows and planting gardens. And what exactly are you insinuating? Well, let me go! Let me go! I told your mother that I don't do those sorts of things. No, I'm not a babysitter. I'm not a maid. I am a singer. Tad Malone, look at you. This is your Sunday best. Now, what did I tell you about that creek? Not to go near the creek in my Sunday best. But I did. Honest to goodness. Oh, watch your mouth. You are lying about the creek, and you are swearing to God all on a Sunday. I didn't go to the creek, and I wasn't swearing. Then why are your clothes such a mess? I was down by the pond looking for night crawlers. See? Oh, Tad Malone, now you get up to your room and you clean up for church right now. We will talk about this later. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sin and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Deputy, do you not remember our conversation earlier? Now you have a choice to make. You can either sit down and join our worship service, or you can get on out of here. Good, sir. Now what's it going to be? I'll sit, sir. Good choice. Deputy Dalton sure had some important to share. Seems like folks in Redemption Springs don't seem to trust him much these days, since they all blame him for letting Biff Morgan and his gang take over the whole town. Deputy Dalton had his hands full trying to catch Biff Morgan, and through some sort of dumb luck, which got folks around here still scratching their heads trying to figure out how Biff Morgan was caught and locked up in jail, Deputy Dalton was hoping folks would call him a hero for catching the leader of the most notorious gang that had come along since the Dalton boys. But ever since Bullseye was locked up in that there jail, it seems like his gang's kicked up quite a ruckus continuing to make life miserable for the folks of Redemption Springs. Seems like they weren't gonna give up until their beloved leader was busted out of that jail. <laughs>